Shalom, Shalom, Yashirala. All praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles of great millstone citations to the legman feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and sincerity and truth through this great gospel coming out of our Bible, man. And um, it says Canadian Christians will be condemned for quoting the Bible fake news. Fake news. They talk about um, life imprisonment for. Um, reading the Bible on the streets, so I've been doing research trying to see articles on this, and I really ain't found too many articles on it, but I found a fake news website. It says, um, February 24th, fake news Canadian Christians will be condemned for quoting the Bible. It says, Pope Francis participates. Um, let me see, let me see. No importance to reading this part. Here we go. Let's get to the point. It says a future law in Canada will lead to a new persecution of Christians, according to a Romanian publication citing a Canadian website well known for promoting conspiracy theories. The fight for faith never stops. It says news. If can, if Canada's Parliament passes Bill C three seven. Christians could be arrested for publicly expressing their opinions, their oppositions to sin. Rights Life site news. Should Christians be arrested for quoting parts of the Bible in public? Should pastors be charged with hate crime when they preach against certain sins? Should churches be closed if the government disagrees with their beliefs? Uh-oh. It sound like we getting closer and closer to that time of what persecution, right? To the time of a famine of the word. Even though they say it's a fake news, we know that they got these bills in play. We know that the devil is working on these certain things, right? To try to put an end to the, the preaching of the word, right? Because it's not the Christians as the threat, it's us, the men of the Lord, the prophets. Because the Christians ain't talking about a motherfucking thing. They, they saying the same thing they've been saying forever, nothing. Yeah, Jesus just loves you. Nigga, get the fuck out of here with all that bullshit. We the ones who bringing out that truth. We're exposing their government, their system. We're talking about the elites. We're talking about the RFID chip. We're talking about the collapse of the currencies and the governments around the world. And they don't want to hear about that. And we're telling them our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is going to send his son Yahweh Shai back to what destroy this fucking place. They don't want to hear that. I'm reading, it says... Should pastors be charged with charged with hate crime? What's the hate crime? To us telling Esau Edom that the Lord hates them, that the so-called white man, which is the devil, right? It's who who's trying to pass these laws, man? It's these heathens. Moab put them pass the same law too. You fuck around, you're fucked up in China trying to <laughs> trying to preach the Bible out loud in the streets. You, it's certain countries you're not allowed to preach this word, man. But through the spirit, that internet is out here, and these words is getting out, right? That's how this word is getting out through that internet. And it says, when they preach against certain sins, should churches be closed if the government disagrees with their beliefs? You may think these are ridiculous questions. After all, we are in Canada, the true north, strong and free. However, with the introduction of Bill C-367, all, all of these questions are on the table. Lifestyles calls life site calls the bill the closest the Christian's bill. The closet, oh yeah, the closet, closet, closet the Christian bill, closet the Christian's bill, because that is exactly what it intends to do, put Christians in the closet. On the threats of jail time, it will silence believers who oppose the woke ideology that is overrunning our country. Yeah, that spirit of that woke ideology is everywhere. Is everywhere and guess what a lot of motherfuckers is getting scared because they don't want to go to jail they don't want to be persecuted they don't want to go through the trials and tribulations right revelations revelation 2 and 10 says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer and read it again revelation 2 verse 10 fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. But be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. 
But the Lord said, be thou faithful unto death. Because, yeah, some of us, we're going to see prison. We're going to have to go through this fiery trial that the Lord has set, set before us. Because the Lord ain't giving away free crowns. <laughs> yeah, you, gonna, you think you're going to rule forever for doing nothing? For doing nothing? For not going through nothing? That don't make no motherfucking sense. Yeah, how wish I went through the worst ever. So what makes you think you ain't going to go through nothing? And you're supposed to prepare your mind and suffer like yeah, how shy and I like it on his level but yeah you're gonna be persecuted you're gonna be persecuted you're gonna be hated man I'm gonna read the book of Revelation 20 and 4 and I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded that were beheaded off with your motherfucking head man that's what's coming to for some of us in this truth some of us pushing this gospel, praising the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai on the highways and byways. Some of us going to be beheaded for this, for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, in which had not worshipped the beast. Yeah, you man, fuck this system. Yeah, they know we against the system. Some of you brothers, you ain't said a damn thing. You sisters, you ain't said nothing. But guess what? They going to go through your motherfucking history on your phone. Yeah, they going to go through them videos you've been watching. You've been watching a lot of Hebrew Israelites, huh? Huh? What's his name? Say, say the name of the Lord, bitch. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna be scoffing and they gonna put your motherfucking ass to death for the worship, for worshiping the Lord. I'm reading again. This is the book of Revelation 20 and 4. It says, And I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High for preaching the gospel, man. So yeah, fuck a fake news. Yeah, they are they are working on this. These devils are working on these type of bills, man. These devils are preparing to what put certain men of the Most High to death, right? And for the word of the Most High, in which had not worshipped the beast, and neither his image, neither had received his mark in their hand, man. Because we ain't taking that chip, right? We ain't taking that chip for Salaki. Neither had received the mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with a mashiach a thousand years right we're looking to live and reign with Yahweh Shai man we're looking to be crowned by the Lord we're looking to be forgiven by the Heavenly Father and be found worthy to even be amongst <laughs> amongst Yahweh Shai Shai and his son man so fuck this society and everything in it some of us gonna have to be put to death and that's part of this, this, um, how can we say, that's part of what we got to go through. Yeah, that's part of what we got to go through. Let me get this right quick. Um, I'm going to read the book, book, I'm going to read the book of Luke 21 and verse 15. It says, for, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay, nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents. Ooh, parents. Don't trust your parents, man. And brethren, and brethren, family members, and kins folks, people of your cousins, your uncles, your aunts. Man, my, my aunt's so cool, man. I think she believe. Man, that bitch don't believe a motherfucking thing, man. She playing games, man. It's a lot of these people, they playing games. Like we said, wait till the persecution comes. Wait till motherfucking police is surrounding houses looking for believers. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna be starting hiding Bibles. <laughs> Motherfuckers gonna be changing their whole spirits, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death, man. These, these whole ass motherfucking family members gonna cause some of us to be put to death. That's why all, and, it's, and you know who it's gonna be? It's, it's like it's gonna be a lot of you whole ass niggas. I'm so lucky. A lot of you brothers still, I love my family, man. I love my mama, man. I love my, man, yeah, you could love these people, but there's a certain level. If they ain't with the Lord, fuck them. Yeah, I love you. I love them in the kingdom. Right now, the spirit, my, like the brother said in the video, our spirit is becoming numb to this world, numb to, numb to family, numb to friends, numb to <laughs> food, numb to entertainment, numb to everything. If you ain't about the Lord's business, you ain't the motherfucking thing in this place. I'm reading, ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren kins folks and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake what it says and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake so if you came in this truth to be popular you don't you're in the wrong thing 
you're in the wrong thing, man. Go find something else to do. This is this is a thing of of showing yourself worthy, worthy of a crown of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Because we fucked up. We're trying to get back in order with the Lord. That's what it's about. It's not about pleasing the people and satisfying the people and getting views, man. That shit don't fucking matter. It's about you enduring. Enduring because it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not in hair on your head perish. And your patience possess ye your souls. You got to be patient, man. I'm gonna read the book of Acts 14, verse 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhort them to continue in the faith. You got to continue in the faith no matter what you're going through, right? You, you had a life, everything was perfect. And then once you found the Lord, everything then collapsed. Everything then collapsed. It's like a shot, a fucking cloud and came over you. And that motherfucker won't leave you, right? Family done turn on you. Friends done turn on you. Loved ones done turn on you, right? You know, lost things, man. You used to be a wealthy type person. Now you're fucking, it's hard for you to get a dollar, man. It's hard for you to keep money in your pocket. It's hard for you to, now you got to ask for help. You got to ask for help. Ain't nothing wrong with asking for help. But what are you asking for help for? Ask for help for the right things, man. Stop me. <laughs> man, that's another thing. But it says confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith in that we must, in that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. It says that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Through much tribulation. Yeah, First Peter um, 4 verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. <laughs> what the fiery trial? What acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity? That's what you're going through right now, that furnace of adversity, that spirit of nobody caring about you, nobody calling you, nobody giving a fuck about you. It's just you by your damn self, really, after you and the brothers. And hey, we're men. We ain't trying to be around each other 24 motherfucking seven. Let's keep it 100. Yeah, we come do the Lord's business and go the fuck on about your business, right? But in the world, shit, there's nothing for you in this society, man. You're really dead to this fucking world. And it's a fiery trial, right? And you got to suffer. Some brothers are sick all the fucking time. Some brothers are dealing with all type of ailments, man. Pain, um, fucking child support, a fucking wicked ass bitch they used to be with. Um, just fucking ain't worth a shit and just giving them hell. But hey, you got to go through these things. First Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as though some strange things happen unto you. Be, but, but, but rejoice, <laughs> but rejoice. And as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's suffering, yeah, the Lord suffer, you gotta suffer too. The Lord suffer, you gotta suffer too, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy, right? Because you had endured, <laughs> you had endured, man. It says, if ye be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are you. Are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High rests upon you. In their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Man, we here to push the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because that's our strength, that's our power, that's our savior, that's our deliverer. I'm gonna read the book of Matthew 24 and 13. But he that endureth unto the end the same shall be saved. Yeah, but he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Endure what? All these things you're about to go through. All these things you're about to go through. 